Well, it's often daily drizzle is legendary, but England is currently going through a dry spell, a very, very long one. A drought has been declared across much of the south and east of the country, with some predicting it could end up being the worst in a century. Correspondent Lisa Miller reports from Chesham, England. How many kinds of sweet flowers grow in an English country garden? It's an idyllic scene that's inspired writers and artists for centuries. The rolling hills of the English countryside, eternally green. But the landscape is under threat. It's a disaster, really. We're, we're devastated by it. Uh, local people have spent quite a lot of money restoring the river fairly recently. And see it without water is, you know, an environmental disaster. An hour's drive from London, the Chess River hasn't seen water since last July. The fish, ducks and birds have gone. All that's left is gravel. Really depressing. I mean, this, this river at this time of year should be really um, flowing very strongly and uh, should be, you know, clear water, full of vegetation, um, full of fish as well. And then instead it's just a silted, dried up sort of gravel path, really. This is what it should look like, filled with water so rich in nutrients they'd come here to bottle it in days gone by. Sure. Chalk streams are, are a globally rare habitat and uh, we like to, I like to refer to them as our, as our rainforests, really. They live in chalk streams. In chalk streams you find more species, um, more diversity than you do in any other river, really. The River Chess Association watched helplessly as its treasured waterway dried up. As the um, drought takes effect and um, there's very little physically that you can do. We can rescue a few fish, we can help in that respect, but there's no tap that we can turn on to resolve the situation. Can, can you understand why Australians might be slightly mystified that they think of England as being a, a very wet country and yet to hear that it is in the grip of a terrible drought is difficult. Absolutely. I mean it must, must seem incredibly strange uh, to you guys uh, but I believe you now have floods in Australia um, during your summer so it must be equally, even more strange under those circumstances. Across England south, the story is the same. It might be known for its cold, damp winters, but not even a deluge will fix it. This dried-up lake on the grounds of a historic abbey once looked like this. Two years of little rain and a massive jump in demand has drained groundwater supplies and left England battling its worst drought in more than 30 years. Locals can't remember when the reservoir was so low. We've seen the water just drop and drop each week that we come here and it's sad really how you think uh, we've never been like this before. Weekend ramblers Valerie Bevan and Kevin Miles are dismayed. Each week starting from last summer um, it was getting lower and lower and you think to yourself why don't they do something about it because um, this reservoir has feed the canal um, but obviously there's no water coming in and they can't replenish them. The fear now, of course, is that this is the new norm, that these parts of England will just have to get used to living with drought. And that's why they're turning to places like Australia for help, looking for ideas for drought-resistant crops. The biggest problem, though, is demand. They're using 15% more than they did 25 years ago. In in this area, in the Chilterns area, we have one of the highest water usages per person, per day, anywhere in Europe. So the water usage here is something like 175 litres per person per day. That's 20 litres above the national average, and that's 40 litres above the government's target for water usage. So has England really bungled its management of its water supply? It's been ignoring a very serious and developing problem for many years. Even Londoners could soon face water rationing, bans on hoses are about to be enforced and shorter showers encouraged. But trying to convince the English there's not an unending supply of water is proving a hard task. Lisa Miller, ABC News, Chesham.